Welcome to Scratch Jr. Beat the Clock. This is a challenging program game that gets harder with each new challenge. In this game, you have to select the correct backgrounds, sprites, and scripts for the program you're about to see. You will have three minutes to complete your challenge. If you get done early, open a new page and get creative there. Please click on the home button and open a new project. You may begin now. This is about the halfway mark. I'm sure you're doing a great job. You still have about a minute and a half to go. Uh, so check over your project a little bit. Do you have the right background? Did you have to make any changes to it or change colors or draw your own background? How about your sprites or characters? Did you have to edit those, change colors, make a new character? Did you have to add sounds or new pages? And finally, your scripts. Are your programming blocks making your characters or sprites do what you see on the screen? Check those out. Make some changes if they're not. Best of luck. Doing a great job. Okay, time is up for challenge 12, last off, a trip to the moon. And I hope you did an awesome job on this. We're able to finish most or hopefully all of the project. But if not, don't get concerned about not finishing. That's why I go over this at the end. And even though it's a challenge, this is the time where you can make some corrections, finish up your program. Um, and make all those changes so that you have a good program. And what you're trying to do is use what I'm teaching you here in projects that you make. And so that's the whole idea of this. So let's see how this program is coded. First off, we have three pages. So we have to create or add pages and we have to get rid of our sprite on each page. And then you go and you add the backgrounds. So the first one was the farm background. The second page is the outer space background, which shows the planets, but that's okay. And we're going to go to the moon, and that's our last page. Now it's time to add our rocket. And we're gonna go all the way down, put your rocket on the screen and place it where you would like. Add the script to the rocket. And so we're gonna use start on a green flag. We're gonna go up. It's about nine to the top there. 
and then we are going to go to second page. Now, the cool thing with Scratch Jr., and if you didn't know this, it might take you a little longer on this project, you can drag your character into another page, and it'll add that script onto that page, and then it will also add the character in the exact spot. So that second page, I used the script, but I wanted to speed up the rocket. The last page, I changed the script, slowed it down, and made that rocket go down nine spaces instead of forward or up and it's going to land slowly so we're going to land slowly there and then we're going to send a message to our astronaut character so we're going to end the script on this one and choose the astronaut now the astronaut is one of the characters that has a blank face that you usually put your own picture in there and that's something you can do later um, right now I put the just a black face shield on there the astronauts pretty big when we start here so I'm gonna hit the green flag make the rocket come down so I can kind of see where to put my astronaut I'm gonna shrink the astronaut down a little bit a little bit too small I'm gonna make him grow a little bit back and then put him where I'd like to, to put him at where he's gonna come out of the rocket. Now I want the rocket to be in front of the astronaut, so I'll click my rocket, and I'm gonna hide the astronaut so he's not on the screen until the end. So I want him to get a message. I want him to wait just one second, which is 10 there, but it's one second. And I want him to go up here first and then go over two spaces. And we're gonna end the script. So this needs a reset. We're gonna reset all of our characters and then put them in the correct spots on our uh, project. Go to the stage so that we can test out our project. All the way up on the stage there, hit the green flag, blast off. There it goes into outer space. And it's gonna land slowly. The astronaut's gonna appear and walk out. Ta-da, here we have it. Now I'm gonna show you something that I originally had, but it took too long to create in the project, so I got rid of it, but I do wanna show you this. Back over on the first page, I made a button. So just go ahead over and make a large circle, any color you'd like. I made a red one here, and I filled it in with the paint fill bucket, hit the check mark, and I positioned it on the screen and went to the ABC at the top to type in launch. We could have typed in blast off, whatever you want to do. Made it a little bit smaller and I changed it to yellow. And there I have my launch button. Anytime you're making a button, the best thing to do is when you tap it. So that's when you touch, it sends a letter to whatever character you want to move. And so instead of the green start flag, we'll change that to when it opens a message. And that way it'll launch. So this is what the program looks like. It looks pretty much the same except now you have a button to launch it and now I clicked it I click it again here so it kind of pauses it um, but so you hit the launch button and then it just runs the program and so even though that, that only added maybe 30 extra seconds or more um, it was too long but I do want to show you that because I like that um, addition to there and it lets you know how to add a button if you'd like to add a button I really appreciate if you like subscribe and share below have a wonderful day until next time mm -hmm.